uh, Ripple actually goes back to uh, 04. Uh, so the kind of seed of it was uh, a project called the Ripple Project, which was created by uh, this really smart engineer uh, up in Canada, uh, Ryan Fugger, um, who had this idea of creating a person-to-person -person exchange of, of kind of credits, personal credits or IOUs, um, which effectively you could always argue credit and currencies, you can almost argue everybody has their own currency and their credit. Um, they're very related. And uh, it was a really neat system. Uh, it was a nonprofit. It was kind of a one-man show. He worked on it for years. Uh, you know, got a lot of uh, respect and attention, but never really got the scale. Maybe it was just too early. And then fast forward to 2011, um, which was when uh, these three geniuses, one of them sitting right here, uh, got together uh, and um, knew about Bitcoin, obviously. Bitcoin had been earlier, but had decided that Bitcoin was, um, you know, brilliant, but very wasteful. So the idea was to build both a more efficient, um, you know, uh, consensus algorithm that didn't consume so much electricity like, like Bitcoin did, um, but accomplished the same thing. Um, but importantly, at the same time, was also uh, um, taking some of the ideas from the Ripple project um, around the idea of pathfinding algorithms to exchange anything of value for any other thing of value. And uh, that combination was, was kind of a, I think, kind of a magic combination. So you had kind of the ability to exchange anything of value in a very efficient way through this ingenious pathfinding algorithm coupled with uh, a digital asset that you know, had no counterparty or gateway counterparty. Um, that's a neat combination. And in fact, that uh, is kind of the, the germ of what I think we now view as a much broader internet of value, um, it, that concept has kind of held. Um, so I got involved with, uh, you know, the three geniuses working on this stuff. Uh, you know, soon thereafter, the technology sort of um, became stable enough to declare it, you know, something's going to happen. Um, that's sort of effectively the birth of XRP. We then created a company that was going to advocate for that ecosystem and focus on the ecosystem, um, which was then gifted a large percent of the XRP. Uh, we also then bought Ryan's uh, Ripple project, folded that into the efforts, um, which was neat. And that was kind of an exchange of stock. Uh, and then we also were lucky enough to be able to acquire the um, URL for Ripple, which is kind of a funny story. It came from a Grateful Dead super fan. Um, it's related to the song Ripple from, from The Grateful Dead. We always loved The Grateful Dead. And uh, so that all kind of came together in 2012. And uh, that's how Ripple got started.